This is problem 317. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're to use nodal analysis, nodal analysis, and find current I naught, this current here in the circuit of figure 3.66. So this figure here. So what we first need to do is find our nodes. So I'm gonna call this node one here. So that's one. And then we will have node two. Let's call this node two. And three is up here. And we will have our reference down here of zero volts. So we have one, two, and three. Now, as you see, we have a voltage supply here of 60 volts. So V1 is equal to 60 volts. V1 here. Okay, now moving on, since we're doing nodal analysis, we need to draw our currents here. So I'm gonna draw the current. Let me grab a different color. And we have, we're gonna call this I1. I1, that's current one. We have I0 up here. Let's say I3 here, I3. And then lastly, we're gonna have I4 here. And I think that's all the currents here. So let's keep moving on. And we're to find I not. What is that? So we're to find this. Let's scroll down a little bit and get started. I'm going to start by doing nodal analysis on three. So this is going to be node three. And remember that's n minus out equals zero. So coming in, we have I zero. Coming into three, we have I three. I three coming in. This one's coming in. And then going out, we have I four. And that is equal to zero. So that is all we have. So I zero, right, the voltage here, is actually V3 minus V1 divided by four. So the current here, I0, remember we're using Ohm's law, V equals IR, or I equals V divided by R. So the voltage here is V3 minus V1 divided by four. We add to that I3, and I3 is V2 minus V2 minus V3 divided by two. And lastly, we have minus I4, and I4 is V3 minus our reference down here, which is at zero volts, minus zero, divided by eight, eight ohms equals zero. So let's sub into this equation a little bit more. We know that V1 is 60 volts. So we can keep going with this. So we have V3, divided by four minus V1 divided by four, V1 divided by four. So that's 60 divided by four plus V2. Let's just write this a little differently. Okay, let me write this again. V3 minus 60 divided by four plus V2 minus V3, V3 divided by two minus V3 divided by eight. 
zero. Okay. So can we simplify this? We're going to simplify this equation a little bit. And I'm going to take this and multiply it by eight, both sides by eight. So let's multiply by eight here. And that leads to two V three minus 60 plus four times V two minus V three minus V three equals zero. Okay. And I think we can expand that out a little bit. So that becomes uh, two V three minus 120 plus four V two minus four V three minus V three equals zero. And let's do it, let's simplify this one more time. It looks like two, four, minus four, negative two, negative three, negative three V three plus four V two minus 120 equals zero. So let's save that equation. Now let's take a look at another node here. And we're gonna take a look at node number two, node number two here. And we're gonna provide nodal analysis on node number two. So I'm just gonna write it up here first. Let's see if we can delete some of this. Oop, not what I wanna do. Delete, okay. Let's take a look. So at node number two, we're gonna do n minus out. This is number two. n minus out equals zero. So coming in to two, we have I1, I1, and we have three I not, I zero here coming in, and then going out, we have I3, and we set that equal to zero. Now let's go ahead and write our I1. I1 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 10 plus three times I0, and remember we have I0 here, right here, uh, which is V3, V3 minus V1 divided by four minus I3, I3, which is, uh, let's see, that's V2 minus V3 divided by two, and that is equal to zero. I'm just gonna copy this. All right, let's move this down. Let's move this out of the way, there we go. Let's move it down. Okay. So let's keep going with this. We know V1 is 60. So we have 60 minus V2 divided by 10 plus three times V3 minus V1, which is 60 divided by four minus V2 minus V3 divided by two. Okay, so what do we do here? Um, what do we do? So can we take this and multiply it by 20? 20? And it looks like what we'll get is 
2 times 60 minus V2. Um, looks like plus 15 times V3 minus 60. Minus 10 times V2 minus V3. So we have this equation and this equation. So we have two equations with two unknowns. We don't know V2 and we don't know V3. So to solve this, we need to solve these simultaneously. And I believe, what do we get here? V3 is 690 divided by 13 volts. Now, if we have V3 here, remember what we were initially trying to find was I0. I0, right, this value here. So I0 is equal to, remember V3 minus V1 divided by this four. And we know V1 is 60 volts, and we just solved for V3 is 690 divided by 13. 690 divided by 13 for V3. And we can solve for I0, which comes out to be 45 divided by 26 amps. And as a decimal, as a decimal, that's 1.73. Uh, so let's take a look. 1.73 amps. So that is our solution. That is our answer, our solution to this problem.